building an Intel system in 2021 for $2,000, custom or pre-built. We're gonna take a look at two different lists here today, one of which is a list of parts and one of which here is a pre-built. Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. And if we switch over to this, you'll see, and for those of you watching this on BST, we pull these out of our live streams on the main channel. Check the link in the video description below to go back to the live stream of this. Here we have roughly $2,000 of an Intel build. It is an i7-10700K. It's got a very nice Z490 motherboard, a Scythe Mugen 5 cooler. We're gonna talk about all these parts. A Fractal Design Meshify C. We have added some very nice fans. I think that's an important part of a build. 32 gigs of RAM, a two terabyte NVMe SSD, an RX 6700 XT, we'll talk about that one. A 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply for a total purchase price of $1,900. Mm -hmm. And then if we come further down, what do you see right here? Ooh, an i7-10700F with a 3070Ti for $1,899. Would that be about the same price? No, yeah, close, yeah. It's not the same computer. For one thing, that has the 3070 Ti, the other is specced out. The 6700 XT is cheaper to buy. If you tried to do this custom build, a 3070 Ti is gonna run you about $1,200, which blows the budget. Yes, it does. However, this has 32 gigs of RAM, the pre-built doesn't. This has two terabytes of NVMe, the pre-built doesn't. That's a K. This is a K, the pre-built's an F. So do you want the 3070 Ti and the lower end components? Or do you want the 6700 XT and the higher end components? I would make an argument that the graphics card takes five minutes to change. You could buy it with a 6700. Now, for those of you who don't know, a 6700 XT and a 3070 Ti are very close in performance. The 3070 Ti probably beats it 60% of the time, but actually loses some other times. Depends on what the title's an AMD optimized title. Like Red Dead Redemption 2 probably runs faster on the 6700 XT but Cyberpunk will run faster on the 3070 Ti, I mean, the game choice. They're very close in performance. And two gold stars is if you can tell me why the 3070 Ti costs more than the 6700 XT. We're gonna make all of our BST followers very happy when we say this out loud. Why? Uh, the 3070 Ti makes more in mining a day. Oh, yes. That's the only reason it's worth more. I, I know, don't throw your tomatoes at your computer screen. They won't hit us, they'll just hit your computer screen. That's why the price difference is there. Yes. Is the, is the, I know, cards are priced based on that performance. In any case, and the power supply is probably better here as well because we picked out a very nice one. A Superflower Lead Tex 3, 10 year warranty, uh, solid capacitors, fluid dynamic bearing fan. It's a very premium power supply. It's better, better components. Right. The list of parts in our custom build is better than in the pre-built, but the pre-built has a 3070 Ti. Do you care? Oh, also it comes all built, ready to run. You push the button, turns on and goes. Correct. Why don't you share with the audience the fun experience of building your own computer if you don't have a stealth computer store of spare parts? It sucks. <laughs> I actually wanted you to tell a longer story because I'm pulling something up on the screen. So I'm, I'm stalling for time, my love. This is your chance to, to give me which case, which case were we building in again? Upstairs? Yeah. The Meshify C Mini. Yeah, the Mesh, yeah. We, we decided to build in the Meshify C Mini and we hit a snag on every single thing that we put in there, except the RAM. We did get the low profile RAM. So that was good. Yeah, that, that worked perfect. It fits. If we had built that, in the Meshify C non mini. Oh, that would be. And if we had cool. used the full size ATX version of the B550 Steel Legend instead of the. M. The micro ATX version, we wouldn't have run into those problems. Oh. The build would have been done the first try. Everything the cooler, the motherboard. People wanting to build small compact the, systems. The cabling. Yeah. Although I do have to say that the. the Are you looking something up while I'm talking or you want to take over and talk or did you find it? Carry on. Um, the, the, the cabling through that, uh, case is, there's space to cable. 
The Mesh of IC in general is an excellent design for cable management. They've yes. got the right cutouts yes. and the grommets. And they got grommets and spaces and... Now, the only issue was size for vertical spacing, not the case design. The case design is fine, but the components we put in there would have fit better in the main, in the full-size version. Much. So get the full-size version. In any case, this is what I was pulling up. Oh, the 10700F, the 3070Ti. And four, it's a For the, the Win 3 Ultra. Whoa. Uh, 16 gigs of 3,000, one terabyte M.2 NVMe, and it's got a 240 mil AIO. It's the EVGA. Do you know why that liquid cooler is important in this build? Now, that may not be a K chip, but it will ensure that you have sufficient cooling that you can remove the power limits and run it at 4.6 gigahertz on all eight cores and 16 threads, and it won't care. Ooh. If it was a super budget cooler, it may not do that. This will. So... You know how much, uh, here's a fun question. How much performance do you think you lose assuming you have sufficient cooling, which this does, assuming you have sufficient other parts, which this does, a non-K chip versus a K chip? Now, obviously a K chip is overclockable, but it's gonna increase cost, you need a Z board, et cetera. What do you think the actual performance difference and or clock speed difference is between a K chip and a non-K chip? 100 megahertz? Give the woman a prize. That is exactly correct. The K chip does 4.7 and the non K chip does 4.6. You have the i7 10700 non K in your machine over in your office here at work. Mm -hmm. You probably don't pay attention because you don't care because it runs really nice. That has a six heat pipe tower cooler in it, a very, very similar to. Mm -hmm the Mugen 5, which we've spec'd out for our custom build here. This will let you run that at 4.6 gigahertz all day long without any complaints. Intel stock cooler will not. No. In any case, coming back to this, I do like the fact that the video card is a named card. That is an excellent card. Mm -hmm. That is a really, really nice card. Notice the price? I do. Now, what you're paying for here is the fact that they're building it for you. But do you see how it's 750 watt, 80 plus gold? Mm. What brand? Say, yeah, it doesn't say what brand. Do you notice the motherboard is a B460M? Mm. Brand may vary. So you don't know what you're going to get. Do you notice the SSD has no brand? Mm, does not. That's probably going to be the cheapest SSD they could find that day. Mm. On our custom build, we have picked out a premium TLC NVMe SSD with SLC caching and DRAM buffer. And our build has two terabytes. And 32 gigs of RAM. And 32 gigs of RAM. So, although, you know, this does come with a gaming keyboard and mouse, so that's worth something. <laughs> For 20 bucks. <laughs> Actually, though, no, those are more than that. Remember, those are the EVGA ones that cost like 60 or 70 bucks? 60 bucks. <laughs> but, but they're mechanical. Yay. <laughs> she is hard to please. What can I say? Um, what do you want to add? Oh, here's what I want to add. So if you buy these parts and put this together, you'll need to add a copy of Windows, which you can get for $16 using our link. $14? Oh, I guess it is $16. It's $16. I love you, dear. Um, do you know what else I added? Notice what else I added here? Oh. How many people do not budget for fans? No, a lot of people don't. Sweetie? Yes. I would like you to hold my only fan. Because I only brought one downstairs. I need two. I only brought one downstairs. Budget for fans. <laughs> Putting some fans in your case can do a world of difference to airflow and cooling and make your machine run much, much nicer. And they are so much easier to put in while you're building the machine than to yeah. tear it open and go add them later Later on. Um, it, it really is it really is nice. And you'll notice that I've also got the Mugen 5, which I showed you before. Yep. Now, that may not be a 240. You can put a 240 in, but I think the Mugen 5 is enough for that. It'll work just fine. And we, you notice that Mesh FIC right there? That's yes. the full-size version. Oh, good. <laughs> and that's a Z board instead of a, you know, it's, it's a nice system. Here's what I would like from our audience. All right. I would like our audience in the comment section below, assuming you guys are watching this over on BST, to let us know whether your most recent system build was a pre-built 
or was it a custom? <clears throat> and if it was a pre-built, was it a custom pre-built, which is what these ABS systems are that we're linking to, mm-hmm. or is it an Acer, Dell, Lenovo, et cetera, which... A, uh, uh, a pre-built... An, an, o- an OEM, an OEM, <laughs> OEM junk <laughs> box. I would not buy an Acer or a Dell. Those are... But the iBuy Power, Cyber Powers, the, uh, the, the Newegg ABS systems, those are just built with normal off-the-shelf parts. So it's just a personal choice. What, what do you want to add to finish this out? So you've got a pre-built option, you have a custom-built option, and either of them work. Pick one. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.